The following is protected by federal copyright laws. Any broadcast or duplication without the expressed prior written consent from Curtis Marsh is strictly prohibited. <laughs> Whatever. Welcome to Memories of the Superfans, a collection of highlights from a group of students who took the college experience to higher levels. Whether it was at social gatherings, athletic events, or even the academic setting, this group of good friends knew how to have a good time. Kevin, if you had to pick just one word to describe your experience at the University of Kansas, what would it be? Exciting. Yeah. This has been great. All right. Thanks, bud. How about you, Chuck? Friends. Yeah, friends. Oh, thanks for the support there, Mo. Well, those were fantastic answers, I must say. Oh, the super fans are the place to be. I think I'd like to hear some answers from some of the other folks at the university that aren't a part of our elite group of friends. Let's hear it. At any rate, no, I, it's, uh, what was the question? I never touched her. I don't know what to feel. Happy. A good five years is done. Yeah, right. More like seven and a half. One word, uh, personal growth. One word, uh, personal growth. I'm One word, uh, personal growth. Hi, I'm Bob. Want to make a movie? Oh, so we're going to be answering questions. It's like a quiz show. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess it's our turn again. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? I'm Captain Jayhawk. The guy with the ball on his head. But I just met a guy who's taken being a fan to new heights. I want to know where this wonderful alter ego this alter originated. Ego? It originated from Curtis and this guy, Alex Logan, what, five years ago? Five years. Five years ago. 88. And I'm just, I'm the new super sub. I've filled in and it's now my position because Alex is in New Orleans. And do you remember your first flight? Yeah, it was, um, Alex missed late night and so I was the only one there and they played the song and that's two years ago, that's when they decided that it would be me because I was light enough and they threw me up. And so I'm trying real hard to keep my weight down and everything. Joe's weight is a serious concern of Kevin Finley, John Sullivan and Curtis Marsh. They're the guys that have to hoist the captain up in the air a couple dozen times per game and catch him on the way back down. Can you guys tell when he gains a little weight? Absolutely, you know, we've, uh, we get it, we're the folks that catch the guy and we feel it every time. Well, I think something has to do with the fact that we keep getting him higher in the air and you know, the terminal velocity, it gets a lot more difficult to catch the guy. So you, are you in a position to regulate how many beers he drinks the night before a game? Absolutely, we do regulate his weight and we regulate his social activity because we need to eat a lot of pizza here. Pizza Hut's kind of bumming about that. I'd love to eat it. The Pizza Hut stays away yeah. pre-game. In the off season, we make sure that he's in top condition because it's a very serious sport and although we're here for them, uh, in a way, some of these folks are here for us. And so we've got to make sure that, that he is in top condition so that we can please everyone. And to guard against injury and, heaven forbid, the premature end to these illustrious careers, protective headgear is required. Oh, yeah, it's all about safety. It's all about safety. <laughs> well, obviously, obviously. Oh, hold on. And style. Safety's okay. first. Okay. Hey, all right. right. Yes, but even so, kids, don't try this at home. For the Lawrence Report, I'm Kathy Hamilton. I thank you for your support of Kansas Athletics. If you should have any additional questions, or if we can be of further assistance to you, please do not hesitate to contact us. Kansas basketball, its tradition of excellence dates back to the game's beginning. Its legends include Naismith, Allen, and Chamberlain. The tradition continues in the 90s. With the super fans. You got the right one, baby. Uh-huh. 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 
Deed up and buy boo. Get a life. Earlier today, we had a slam dunk contest. They picked five students at random. <laughs> Even uh, Dracula participated. He had the crowd in an absolute, well, throat biting frenzy. <laughs> yeah. Well, the judges didn't like that. Uh, he was one of the finalists in our slam dunk competition with the students. They picked five out of the crowd. Pretty good stuff right here. You think this takes a little courage in front of 16,000 folks? Absolutely. Fans like that, but there was definitely a crowd favorite as far as uh, the fans here, as far as the, even the coaching staff. Next to Marion Washington, you saw Matt Doherty, and next to Matt, Steve Robinson, two of Roy's assistant coaches. Here's the winner of the slam dunk competition. Not Michael Jordan, despite the jersey. But you like but this he, motion. He slams like him. Roy really liked this. Mm. Oh, that brought the house down. And some even gave him ten. <laughs> the winner of the slam dunk competition earlier tonight. <laughs> well, yes, we had some glorious times at the University of Kansas. Well, we had some trying times, too, but we made it through. And believe it or not, some of us even graduated. Hey, uh, uh, that was a timeout for technical difficulties. Give me a break, I'm only an amateur. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little alma mater here, and if you listen real closely, right between the towering toward the blue and the old lift the chorus ever onward, you might just hear one of our good friends putting a little line in of his own. You are graduates, my congratulations. Celebrating the last day of school, the studs of KU, doing a little barbecuing. Jesus Christ. There's supposed to be, there's you the man, there's supposed to be a baby pool right there, but there isn't. Wow, here we are. It's a beautiful day, as you can see. Moe's drinking, wait a second, wait a second. That's non alcoholic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not right. We need to find some Pinoch, dude. Pinoch? Seriously, Pinoch. All right, there. Do you see a Pinoch? Uh, let's see. We can check for some. That girl there's got some. Where? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Wave. Say hi, Robin. Oops, out of focus. That's Robin. <laughs> Hi, Robin. There's a bun. He's the man, too. Hey, look at auto rolling. Look at food. Look at Chris. Look at Chris. Brand. Oh, he's so sexy. Pinoch. <laughs> look at all these cute guys. Hey. Mm, I just want to slam all of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if we'll be able to see anybody. Hey. Yep, you just look at those guys. Okay, folks, we're going to try and show you all the people in class. Do you see this? See all those windows? Can you see the people? They're really wishing that they could be here with the camera, you and I, right now. These poor people. I feel. Let's zoom in on these guys right here. You, can, you might, you might be able to see them. Do you see them? Oh, I feel so sorry for him. Joe is extremely late as usual. There's Kevin, right there. And um, we're not going to bitch too much about him because they should have been here a long time ago, but. We won't say anything. Gentlemen! 
Here they come. There's Joe Shithead. There he is with the 360 reverse fall. And wait a second, there's the food. Ow. <laughs> I'm okay though. Chips and dips and chains and whips. And oh, we have dog. That's a beautiful thing. And there's the man. No, you, you man. No, you, you the man. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. Two times. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. They're fighting again. have long gone by me, yet they seem just days ago. Friends have long gone separate ways, but the memories are fading slow. A new life appears before me, a life that is filled.
Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> wow. That'll be one for the memory library.